Well guys, I'm back from vacation. The Fiat hasn't moved, obviously, but uh, this is the first night I'm gonna start tearing into it a little bit more. Um, before I do anything else, uh, rendering it incapacitated, I'm gonna fire it up again, let it run for 30, 45 seconds, just to, again, get a little more oil in the top end. You heard it last time. It sounds like it uh, is a little unhappy, maybe some empty lifters. This car was upside down at some point, and I know engines don't particularly enjoy that. <clears throat> so, yep, that's a good noise. Put my butt in some broken glass again. Clutch pedal is stuck on the floor. starting to sound a little bit more normal. Multi-air engines are pretty loud just because of how they operate, but uh, the intake camshaft is, actually there isn't one, there's just an exhaust camshaft and some electronics and some bucket lifters. I'm guessing those bucket lifters are just a bit empty. Nice and responsive though. Only 57,000, wow. But anyway, my first order of business is gonna be deal with that windshield so I don't slice my finger open again. After that, it'll be just vacuuming up a whole bunch. Then I'll probably start with the seats. Maybe the dash. I do want to leave it uh, a runner as long as possible for obvious reasons. Um, but I can't really work on Brexit until this car is gone because of my limited uh, winter storage space, so. Here we go. Well, the front seats are out, the rear seats are out. I'm working on the seat belts. Um, but on these cars, there's a little anchor at the bottom of the belt. And uh, in order to remove your trim panels intact, you have to unhook the seat belt from this. Uh, there's one tab on the top right here. A little black thing. And there's one on the side here decided to turn on the light here. So there's a notch right there on the top and there's one on the side. And how you do this is you take a straight pick and you push it in until you feel some resistance. And then, let me see if I can set up the camera somewhere where you can watch me do this. <laughs> this probably won't be very exciting to watch even if I'm able to get it to go. I put that pick in. Felt it move. There she comes. Boom. Sorry that's in the upper corner of the screen. I had to set the phone on the floor. But there is a way to unhook that, and it's way better because then you don't have to ruin your interior panels. Basically, you'd normally have to cut these apart to ship a seat belt, and then you can also sell your uh, pyro separately. Another quick tip on these airbag connectors. You lift up on the orange, then you lift up on the yellow. No damage whatsoever. And then just the Torx T50, anchors out. Torx T50 at the top, that's out. All of your interior trim panels are intact. Bob's your uncle. Status report. That door is completely gutted door harness I was able to take out but I wasn't able to save this little accordion which is weird I'm not sure how they got that in in the first place 
Uh, stereo stuff's all disconnected from the body, but it's all still hooked up because sound time is good time. Seat belts, uh, I have to take those rear reels out next time because I snapped my Torx T50 on the back uh, reel mounts. Now working on gutting this door, which already had the regulator removed, but it was included with the car, so I don't know what happened there. Um, the four 10 mils on the outside are just for the window track, but it, they're nice hardware, so I'm going to save that stuff. Uh, then steering wheel, then maybe dash. I don't know. I'm still going to be cranking on this for a little while tonight. Maybe get the carpet out of the way since that's... That's pretty much completely ready to go, it looks like. But, uh, uh, I guess taillights are gone, too. There's some of the mess. <laughs> so here's the state of the car now. Front core support's off. Doors are completely gutted. Interior is basically completely, excuse me, gutted except for the dash. However... Uh, the car won't start anymore because of the immobilizer. Little icon down there in the bottom right corner of the cluster. And I don't know why. I haven't disconnected any modules yet. Just a whole bunch of interior components. I'm trying to figure that out before I take the powertrain out of the car. Otherwise, it won't be much good to me if I can't install it in some other car. Got the hatch gutted. Got the seat swapped out for my car. Yeah, this thing's a nightmare, but uh, other than uh, suspension, the rest of the wire harness and the powertrain, she's pretty much gutted now, so definitely still making progress. Well, the front end's apart. Control arms that were loosely back in, including the very ghetto repaired one, are back out. Brakes are all unbolted now. Half shafts are dangling, steering rack dangling. Front uh, struts dangling, engine pretty much just sitting there. <laughs> that doesn't look like it's going to take much to get out of the car, luckily. Um, I've pretty much given up trying to restart this thing in the car. I know it ran, so I guess that's at least a good thing. Uh, the check engine light doesn't show up when you turn the key to accessory, which it should. Um, so I'm just going to attribute it to a mobilizer and then hopefully I can figure it out at a later date. Uh, if not, I suppose I can always sell the engine and get another one some other day. Um, wow, this car is totally ruined. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I've got uh, so far. I do have to take the hood off so I can get access to the strut top mounts. Drop the uprights out. I'm going to be taking the full subframe for sure. Um, hopefully I'll be able to saw enough of the area between the subframe where it bolts on the bottom of the unibody right there and there all the way up to the top um, so I could potentially weld it into another car uh, for instance the back of another Fiat 500 um, not really sure if that swap's ever going to happen but it'd be nice to at least have the uh, the ability to do it um, everything's in really really good shape that isn't completely destroyed I know that's kind of weird to say but the car clearly was taken care of before it got rolled. So a lot yet to do, but figured I'd at least keep the updates rolling.